Hello YouTube viewers, it's Darren again from CodyTVBoxes.co.uk This is going to be a video just demonstrating how to use Enigma 2 PVR client in Kodi for you people out there that have got Enigma 2 boxes Now if anybody doesn't know what Enigma 2 box is uh, maybe you don't really want to watch this video or you may be educational uh, may want to um, educate yourself Basically it's a satellite receiver that runs uh, the Linux software that said, actually, it doesn't necessarily have to be Linux, it can be Android nowadays as well. Um, however, if you've got an Enigma 2 box that you might find it's interesting if you didn't already know this. Um, so, we're going to go into Kodi anyway. Um, let's just come out of uh, oh, sorry, into Kodi. Um, we're going to go to uh, System. Then, we're going to come across to um, let's go to Live TV first, um, into General, and click Enable. Okay, it says there's no PBR clients running. So we're going to come down to here to where it says um, VU plus Enigma 2. Now, if you've got a Dreambox, if you've got um, VU equipment, this should all work. I think this works with anything that's running Enigma 2. So I'm going to click into there, click Configure, uh, IP. So we're going to just delete this. Now, you're going to need to know some basic network settings of your box. So um, I just oh first of all I'd like to say thank you to a friend of mine who's actually lent me his box for this demonstration. Um, so we're a big shout out to you there, Silver. Okay, so we're going to go zero. No, sorry, one and two one six eight. This is the IP that it's on on the local network. Uh, got zero. Got seventy. Okay, so we're going to click done to that. Now yours is going to be different than that. Might have a subnet of one. Um, um, fetch icons, yes. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, channels. Now, what I recommend here is says fetch only one TV bouquet. Now, a bouquet is basically your channel list. Um, you put them into your own favourites. Now, the, I would recommend you use that because it's going to download a very large sort of channel list. If not, um, what I would tend to suggest is put them everything, put all your favourites into one bouquet. Maybe call it whatever you name your boxes or however you want to name it. But for this case, I'm just going to use one of his because uh, I don't want to be messing this channel list up. So I'm going to click into there. Now I think it has to have, um, you have to put the capsules in. So let's go. Uh, just pick any, anything on this list. Uh, let's just keep capsules again. Okay. Oh, make sure the capitals, make sure it's actually on the. Make sure it's exactly as it's written in the bouquet. Don't know why I've got a keyboard kicking. Okay, now as I say, if you you can call this whatever you want, and but it's got to be exactly the same, or else you'll get an error um, as what one of the bouquets is called. Or alternatively, as I say, I'll make you one with just a favourite. So you're actually going to watch through the actual box. So I've clicked onto that. Um, it will be different from this. The odds are so. Uh, right, if you have if you've got a single tuner, uh, I recommend click uh, clicking this um, tab here. If you've got a dual tuner, maybe you don't need to, or even obviously if you've got a duo that's got four tuners and things like that, uh, you certainly won't need to click that. But this is basically in case you've got a single tuner. Um, so I'm going to click uh, go to advanced. Now, if you've changed any settings because you've got um, transcoding going, you'd have to change your ports, etc. on here, or however I would have thought so. So let's just click in there. The username will be root, all lowercase. And unless you change the password, uh, it's going to be Dreambox. Even if it's uh, VU, I think. Uh, I'm just going to click OK to that. And then Enable. And hopefully, that should. That's, so that's enabled. Okay, we're going to close that out of there. I'm going to exit out of here first. 
It'll take a second to crack our floors, all your background uh, activity is going down now. So it goes more down. Take a few seconds. As I say, uh, this won't work for a standard skybox or anything you're using from abroad. Um, so uh, hopefully I've done this as I say, I'll, I'll borrow this box, it's just for this demo because somebody asked me about it. So let's go back into Kodi, here we go. That's actually SPMC Kodi. Here we go, we've just got to activate it again, so it's saying there's no PBR client uh, enabled. So we have to mount it here. Uh, now it's all set up, so this time we're going to click enabled. As you can see now it's loading channels. So I'm going to close that. Now, if you're on a standard um, skin, that will show up. Now, because this is not a standard skin, uh, for any of our own customers, you're going to come across to the wizard. Okay, program add-ons. Program add-ons again. Into the wizard. Now if yours looks like, let me just go back, if yours looks like that, you can change the, the viewings, you can change the list, so say in thumbnails, so that's more of a likely what yours will look like. Go into the wizard and scroll down and you'll see here Enigma 2 PBR client. Click on that, GUI. Show it takes a split second. Okay, we're going to click OK to this. If you've got the new new wizard, which you should have, um, it'll just should just close automatically now. There we go. So we're going to go back into it now. Now if you have got the old one there, you'd have to pull the power out. However, if you've done a recent backup and uh, you've installed the latest wizard, that will actually uh, give you the new wizard where you can just uh, click OK and should close it now. Okay, now you'll see that it's put another um, version in here of satellite. So you can either go to channels, and you'll see that uh, they're in here. Obviously anything that's in that bouquet will be in there now. Um, I'll just click on through there quickly. There we go. And that's an advert for the one. Um, just, I think if you click in there, it's what takes the same place, yeah. Yeah, I can't play this for, for obvious reasons, but I'll uh, just block it out. Right, that's it really. I just wanted to demonstrate that to you. It's as quick as simple as that for you guys that have got uh, Enigma 2 boxes. Um, and again, a big shout out. Thank you very much to a friend of Michael and the uh, his, um, box for doing this demonstration. And uh, hopefully that's been of some help to you. And uh, if you liked it, please click the like button. Please subscribe and um, hopefully catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.